What do, you believe, what do you believe about the science of climate change, sir? Uh, I believe that we have to do everything we can to have immaculate air, immaculate water, and do whatever else we can that's good. You know, we're planting a billion trees, the Billion Tree Project, and it's very exciting. Do you believe uh, that, that human pollution, gas, greenhouse gas emissions contributes to the global warming of the climate? I think climate? a lot of things do, but I think to an extent, yes. I think to an extent, yes, but I also think we have to do better management of our forests every year. I get the call, California's burning, California's burning. If that was cleaned, if that were, if you had forest management, good forest management, you wouldn't be getting those calls. You know, in Europe, they live their forest cities. They're called forest cities. They maintain their forests. They manage their forests. I was with the head of a major country. It's a What a city. fucking liar. Hi. All he's done is lie. Look at how red he is. Trying to push his lies. Nobody believes him anymore, Trump. Not that anybody did when you when it started. You're the most evil. Clean power plan which limited carbon emissions in power plants. Why have you relaxed? Because it was driving How can stupid people follow him? Just as stupid as him, that's why. Because what's happening is the car is much less expensive and it's a much safer car, and you're talking about a tiny difference, and then what Oh God, listen to him. You would have at least double and triple. I hate this fucker. Hate is bad, but he brought it back. Oh, shut the fuck up, Trump. Nobody believes you, except your dumb followers. And most of them are paid to... Your damn rallies, all the people are, most of them are actors that you pay. But people are so desperate for money, they go and put their life on the line to make a few dollars. You propose two trillion dollars in green jobs. You talk about new limits, not abolishing, but new limits on fracking, ending the use of fossil fuels to create electricity by 2035. Go ahead, Biden, see if this asshole will let you talk. The president says a lot of these things would tank the economy and cost millions of jobs. He's absolutely wrong, number one. Number two, if in fact, when, when our, during our administration, the Recovery Act, I was able, I was in charge, able to bring down the cost of renewable energy to cheaper than or as cheap as coal and gas and oil. Nobody's going to build another uh, uh, coal-fired plant in America. No one's going to build another oil-fired plant in America. They're going to move to renewable energy, number one. Number two, we're going to make sure that we are able to take the federal fleet and turn it into a fleet that's run on their electric vehicles. Making sure that we can do that, we're going to put 500,000 charging stations and all the highways that we're going to be building in the future. We're going to build a economy that, in fact, is going to provide for the ability of us to take 4 million buildings and make sure that they, in fact, are weatherized in a way that, in fact, they'll, they, they'll emit significantly less gas and oil because the heat will not be going out. There's so many things that we can do now to create thousands and thousands of jobs. We can get to net zero in terms of energy production by 2035, not only not costing people jobs, creating jobs, creating millions of good paying jobs, not 15 bucks an hour, but prevailing wage by having a new infrastructure that in fact is green. And the first thing I will do, I will rejoin the Paris Accord. I will join the Paris Accord because with us out of it, look what's happening. It's all falling apart. And talk about someone who has no no relationship to, with foreign policy. Look at how stupid Trump looks. Red bastard, you're not orange anymore. You're like... And every bit of carbon that's in Listen the to him. States. Listen to Biden. This is the president. This is going to be our president. Get our country back. Put this other one in prison. His whole damn family in prison. 
have significant economic consequences. What about, what about the argument that, that President Trump basically says that you have to balance environmental interests and economic interests, and he's drawn his line? Well, he hasn't drawn a line. He still, for example, makes sure that we, he wants to make sure that methane's not a problem. We can, you, you can now emit more methane without it being a problem. Methane. This is a guy who says that you don't have to have mileage standards for automobiles that exist now. This is a guy who says that, well, the fact is, it, it, it's all true. But here's You're the talking deal. about the Green New Deal, and it's not two billion I'm, or twenty billion, as you said. I'm, it's one hundred trillion dollars. I am talking about. I mean, Shut the fuck up, Trump. Boy, this makes me mad. He's over there trying to shove his lies down. Lies, Trump. I actually, I'm studying your plan, and it includes upgrading four million buildings, weatherizing two million homes over four years, building one and a half million energy efficient homes. So the question becomes, some the president is saying, I think some people who support the president would say that sounds like it's going to cost a lot of money and hurt the economy. What it's going to do is going to create thousands and millions of jobs, good paying hey, jobs. Well, let him finish, sir. He did not do that. Well, they, they, the, the fact is it's going to create millions of good paying jobs and these tax incentives to people, for people to weatherize, which he wants to get, get rid of. It's going to make the economy much safer. Look how much we're paying now to deal with the hurricanes. But to deal with, by the way, he has an answer for hurricanes. He said, maybe we should drop a nuclear weapon on them. They made I never said that. That's what the agency yeah. made it up. Uh, and here's the deal. To make up we, we are going to be in a position where we can create hard, hard, good jobs by making sure the environment is clean and we all are in better shape. We spend billions of dollars now billions of dollars on floods, hurricanes, rising seas. We're in real trouble. Look what's happened just in the Midwest with these storms that come through and wipe out entire sections and counties in Iowa. That didn't happen before. They're because of global warming. We make up 15% of the world. Tell them, Biden. We, in fact, but the rest of the world, we've got to get them to come along. That's why we have to get back into, back into the Paris Accord. All right, gentlemen, we... Immigrants. So why didn't he do it for 47 years? You were vice president. Why didn't you get the world? China sends up... He wasn't vice president for 47 years, you stupid fucker. And by the way, he made a couple of statements. The Green New Deal is a hundred trillion dollars. That is not my plan. That's three. Well, the Green New Deal is not my plan. I'm going to repeat that. If you have anything about it, he made a statement about the military. He said I said something about the military. Look at this orange fucker. He's getting redder and redder and redder. He has no fucking class. Stupid bastard. I would never say that. Play it. Go ahead. The Vice David. President answered his his final question. The final question is I can't remember which of all was raised. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a little trouble myself. But uh, and, and about the economy and about this question of what is Look at Trump. Look at that stupid fucker. <laughs> He's like a bitchy old woman. And even women aren't that stupid. Look at him. He's not even a woman or a man. He's an animal. No, I don't support the Green New Deal. Oh, you don't? Oh, well, that's a big statement. I support the Green New Deal. the radical left. I said I support the Biden plan that I put forward. Okay. The Biden plan, which is different than what he calls the radical Green New Deal. All right, gentlemen, final segment. Election integrity as we meet. Oh, yeah. I'm going to cut this off here because it will get too long. But I wanted you to see what they're saying about the global warming. Look at fucking Trump. Man, what an ignorant, 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 stupid bastard.